Acute kidney injury or AKI or acute renal failure refers to a sudden decrease in kidney function. AKI needs to be treated soon to prevent further kidney damage. Long-term kidney damage can lead to chronic kidney disease, which means that the kidney has lost a part of its function for a very long time, possibly forever. There are some different guidelines that defines AKI. The Kidney Disease Improving Global Outcomes or KDIGO criteria is the most preferred definition. This guideline defines AKI in three criteria. The first one is increasing serum creatinine by greater than 0.3 mg per deciliter within 48 hours. The second one is increasing serum creatinine more than 1.5 times of baseline which has been occurred within the 7 days. And the last one is decrease urine volume to less than 0.5 ml per kg per hour for 6 hours. The following conditions increase the risk of AKI. Severe or uncontrolled blood pressure, hospitalization, age more than 65 year, previous bypass surgery. About 5-30% of patients who undergo cardiothoracic surgery develop acute kidney injury, diabetes, chronic diseases such as heart failure and COPD, and severe dehydration. Sometimes acute kidney injury causes no signs and symptoms and is just diagnosed through laboratory tests. But in some cases it has some signs and symptoms such as decreased urine output and even anuria in severe AKI, hypertension, edema especially in the lower limbs, shortness of breath, nausea and vomiting, headache, and abnormal heartbeats. Okay, now let's see what is the common cause of acute kidney injury. AKI is often due to reduce blood flow to the kidneys, and it usually happens in someone who is already has another health problem. Reduced blood flow can occur in any of the following situations. Blood or fluid loss after excessive bleeding or vomiting or severe burning, heart failure or any problems else that cause heart pumping less blood through the body, vasculitis or inflammation of the vessels, infections, severe allergic reactions like anaphylaxis, certain medications that reduce blood supply to the kidneys such as NSAIDs, ACE inhibitors, and aminoglycoside antibiotics. AKI also can happen when there is a mechanical obstruction, such as when a person has kidney cancer, prostatitis, or kidney stones, and rhabdomyolysis or breakdown of muscle tissue. How to prevent acute kidney disease? The first and important way to prevent AKI is to keep body hydrated and maintenance of adequate blood volume and mean arterial pressure. Those medications that can cause AKI should be stopped if there is any sign of AKI or the patient is at high risk of the disease.